Ben, what a great occasion and what a great victory. Well, it's, 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 it's one of those events where, you know, when you get very close and you lose by a short margin, you sort of think, are you ever going to get that close again? And, and to me, I mean, I'm, I love snooker. And this, to me, is in the amateur game, you can't get any better. So to get my hands on the 100th is I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. When Rory made that quick start to lead 2-0, you must have been thinking 2008 all over again. I was thinking the bar was going to be at half past five, I think. Um, it was, um, no, I just found some form, you know. It was, uh, Rory, Rory, last time I played Rory, he, he played so unbelievable against me. So I, I knew I was the underdog. I knew I had to find something. And I thought, well, I've never been out in, a, in an arena before. And for some reason, the, the first couple of frames, it took a little while to get going because I just wasn't used to the occasion. But once, it started, once things started happening, I felt more and more comfortable as it went on. So get, getting a 4-2 lead um, was, was amazing to get a 4-2 lead. And then it was just a case of closing it out. A little chance in the seventh to go, to go win 5-2. But as I say, Rory then made a nice break to put me under the pressure again. But, and then he missed a little ball in the last, which, which sort of gave me the confidence to just go on and win the match then. So, yeah, it was great. And what was it like playing in this arena? Obviously, we're here for the Coral World Grand Prix. All of the finest players in the world are playing on this table. Yeah. And so are you. That's right. It's, uh, to be involved with the, the top players in, in the world is, is all I've wanted to do. And um, obviously, you know, being out of the game for so long and coming back into it and seeing these guys who I grew up with, you know, making it on the big stage. And uh, for instance, Judd, obviously, I used to play practice with in the day and seeing him do so well is great, you know. So coming out and just feeling the atmosphere, even with, you know, the people, even the people that came, you know, sort of full crowd, but you can feel the energy and it's... It's worth every second. And the history of this tournament is unbelievable. It started in 1916, so it predates the World Championship, the World Professional Championship, by over a decade. So to get your name on that trophy, alongside the likes of John Pullman, Stuart Bingham, Jimmy White, so many more, must be a, a great achievement. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. I, I don't really know what to say. I mean, I, I remember going up to Sheffield a few, well, many years back, and everyone was telling me, your, your, your name's on the trophy. I said, yeah, but it's not. It's not on the actual trophy, you know. It's, it's, it's on the runners-up, but it's not on. And I came here with a, with a job to do. It's the first time I've been really prepared, and I've done everything right. Um, and it's eventually something's clicked, and I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon. They say behind every man there's a, a good woman, and behind every English amateur champion there's a really good woman here, because if it hadn't been for your wife, you wouldn't have been playing again. I've, um, my wife, three years ago, said, come on get your queue out let's, let's have another go and uh, she has made she's made a lot of sacrifices for me um, she's given me everything that I need um, having the family as well in the early you know is, is great as well and you know having the family and then coming back into it it's just it's amazing I mean I ne would have never had a chance to play snooker again if it weren't for her so it all, all thanks to her really so 104 years after the English amateur championship began Ben Hancorn is the champion. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Phil. Thanks. And thanks, everybody.